Welcome back to the Grambo Report. We'll close tonight with an attempt to learn from a man who has been through quite a bit. Isaac Grambo turned 120 years old on Tuesday. He's seen two world wars, a Great Depression, Civil War reconstruction, a presidential assassination, and a World Series championship for the Chicago Cubs. And he has a lot to say about the current state of affairs. Ebola. <laughs> Back in my day, we had the flu epidemic. Six of my sisters died, and I was left to do all the laundry. We didn't have fancy washing machines in those days, no. We had rocks. I was, I was stationed in South Pacific during World War II. And malaria. And mosquitoes. Something awful. You couldn't, couldn't even get away from them in the sick bay. I watched a mosquito take a bite out of my bunkmate's eyeball. I kept telling him that his habit of sleeping with his eyes open was going to cause him some troubles. But he wouldn't listen to me. No. Well, Chuck came back to the safe with me on the hospital boat. And he was coming down from a morphine bender in a bad way. He kept trying to get out of the room because he was hallucinating all these rabid muskrats. But he couldn't grab the door handle. No depth perception. One eyeball. Well, he started to panic. Ran around in circles. He ran full steam into a wall, screaming, Siddhartha, get your pants on! Well, once he hit that wall, he stopped screaming, I'll tell you that. But that's, that's a horrors of war for you, I tell you. I don't envy those boys over in Iraq. We had the Krauts, and the Japs, and the Dagos. And they all looked different. And they all had tanks or airplanes with stars, swastikas, and rising suns on them. Nowadays, all you got is ragheads. Some of them you're trying to protect. Some of them trying to blow your head off. And they're all running around, and they all look the same. With the mustaches and the noses and the crap on their heads. You know, those folks over in New Orleans, they're in a tight spot. But I am sick of hearing them complain about it. I was in Bemidji, Minnesota during the Great Depression. And it was three degrees in the winter. And all we had to keep warm were four pairs of socks and a transistor radio. We used the radio to take our minds off of the cold. All they played was Louis Armstrong. I still get cold every time I hear that bastard. Some compelling stories from an elder statesman of American culture. And that's all the time we have for the Grammar Report tonight. Join us next week. Good night.